Hello, my curious and investigative mortal soul. Today, I want to take your mind on a trip. It's a different kind of experience, although this trip will be a little different than the way it used to be voyaged back in the 1960s. I'm thinking about psychedelic art. Have you ever wondered or even complained about someone who's able to paint just one stripe of color down a white canvas and sell it for a million dollars in some kind of art auction somewhere, usually in the United States or Europe. I guess it might be happening all over the world. But why? Why can they do that? Well, I think back to my early days in childhood when we were sent to places like the art gallery or the museum and we would see groups of adults just sitting quietly staring at a wall staring at a wall for a very long time and I wondered are they having any fun it turns out they were but it wasn't until I was older that I found out what it was all about hallucinations sending your mind on a trip it's a trippy experience when you're hallucinating. Now back in the 60s, this type of experience was assisted by uh, an unhealthy habit, we'll say, that I do not encourage you to involve yourself with. Um, but the song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, um, if you were to turn that into an acronym, it had to do with something like that. But you can do this and achieve a natural trip or invoke your own hallucinations in a safer way uh, just make sure you're in a safe place it's not going to get you falling over into something that might hurt like a cactus I've seen it happen it has happened on a school trip just be careful now make sure you know your environment and that you're sitting comfortably now Let's try this out. If the screensaver I've chosen for you today isn't working for you, you can get a piece of paper, especially if you're artsy, a nice clean sheet of white paper, and choose one strong color, maybe two, but not more than that. We need these pictures to be simple. Painting with one strong color a yellow or a red or a blue or we can make this even simpler black and white make that one fat stripe across your page any direction you want maybe section off one square somewhere and color that in with your other color a yellow a red a blue I think primary colors work really well for this. But make sure you leave most of this page white. Alright. Once you have got your picture made, set it up somewhere so that it is against a plain wall. It has to be a plain textured wall, preferably white or as pale as. Try not to pick a wall with texture and make sure there's enough space on that wall that's at least as big as the picture that you've made. There's a reason for this. Better if the wall is completely blank so that there's nothing to distract your focus. Now, here's what people would do with the help of things like mm, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds and maybe playing psychedelic music in the background acid house, acid jazz, acid rock, acid techno, acid trance you get the idea psychedelic rock, space rock, trip hop pick your poison turn it on and get yourself in the mood Bye. now we've got your picture to look at or mine 
You have to sit comfortably in front of it so that you can sit for a long period of time. And this might take practice if you haven't had any staring contests lately. You have to stare and stare and stare for as long as you can possibly stand at this picture without flinching, without moving your eyes from its focus. You have to stare completely straight ahead at this picture. Just pick one spot in that picture. Be calm and breathe and just stare. Now when you think you really should blink and you can't really stare anymore, very quickly shift your eyes to only one spot, not looking all over the room, just quickly shift your eyes from that picture without blinking over to the blank wall and just relax and watch the natural hallucination you just created. Can you see that piece of art you've just made beside itself in the negative? It should be if you're doing this right, if you can stare for long enough that you'll be able to take in a picture that looks exactly like the one you have with the colors flip-flopped floating on the wall beside the original. And then try to look at it and take in its beauty for as long as you can. I find sometimes it's going to move around a little, this little hallucination that you just made. And so this mind manifesting or trippy experience you're going to have, that's psychedelic. Because it's playing with your psyche. It came out of the 1960s counterculture and it usually involves bright colors with full spectrums of colors to try to evoke or convey or enhance the psychedelic experience. If you go back in a time and you're looking at the posters and the murals and the comic books and the underground newspapers, you'll notice the kaleidoscope type of effect of swirling color patterns so that it could mimic what happens for people who are actually uh, using Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. But please don't do that. It's enough to just play the song. All right. I hope you've had some fun with me today. Glad you let me take you on this little trip. Stay safe. Please choose habits that are healthy. But have fun with this one. Take care, everybody. I'll see you out there.